Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And we're taking a look at the leader class of Street Man Fighter. We're looking at the dance rank mission itself. They are auditioning. I know the choreo picked was Vata's because I myself have learned the choreography way back whenever this actually came out. This is one of the only routines I even saw from the show. So I think it's really fun. I get to react to everything of Street Man Fighter related and be able to come back to this one that I've already been exposed to, which is really cool. I have not seen how Vata or any of them perform it for the Dance Rank mission, so it's going to be very exciting to kind of compare and contrast to see, did Vata do it the best? I don't know. We're going to go ahead and check it out and find out. First, it looks like we have Wu Chan. We have a little bit of everybody here. One million. Honestly, so Vata's really elevated how he's been executing it. It's crisp, it's clean, it is spicy. Ochan is approaching it similarly to how Vata did it in the choreo selections, which I was saying, I hope that Vata brings it up because it did look a bit muted. But he really brought more, more of a staccato there. Dress up. Yeah, is that J Rock right there? One mil. Woo! I would say One Mil's taking that choreographic like approach to it. I love his take on it. I think B2B, he's trying his best, is what it feels like. Man, Vata, the confidence on that boy! Did you see what he did? He didn't even finish out his choreo. He just held it up. He was like, I don't need to do it. I already showed you I can do it. And then he just took it into his own hands. Brutality. Okay. We're going to take it back. Take a look at all these guys. So how they start out, I already made my note. Vata really elevated the execution. It's very clear. It's very crisp. And you can see all the dynamics he wanted to do. I think that was fabulous from him. I think he was definitely one of the best from his group that we saw. And no, it's not because I know he won. I know that. But I really enjoy the fact that he himself is doing his choreography even better than what we saw at the first time. He's also approaching it in a, he has sunglasses on too. They get on the car, revving it up. He even added a little shoulder there, which is really nice. Seeing everybody's approach, if you notice with Ochan, he's taking a very um, isolated approach here. He's really turning it more into a robotic kind of textured technique versus the nonchalant being revved through every front glide. So I think he took, that was a risk he took. I think with B2B, I honestly, when you look with one mil, I think one mil is the biggest contender for Vata here. So I think my guy right here, how he even went so far as to do the same leg, I don't think either of them got off their motorcycle as realistically as they got on. I think when you look here, look at the pocket. He's rocking. When they rock, they kind of have the dip in the hips. They all do it, but I would say here he's taking a more... Uh, op opposing rock to the side so he's not dipping and scooping he's just rocking from side to side little details like that can really affect how it comes across yeah also i honestly i pulled a j-rock when i first learned this i was not on the same page on my feet with vata we know he's very on top of those feet i think everybody kind of matched it except for j-rock j-rock i think uh he missed a couple of those details in that first run through but I would say with Ochan, let me, I gotta really look here. Yeah, ooh, one mil. He is on it. Now let me see Ochan do it. Ah, uh, so he kicked his leg prematurely there. But super small detail. But we know that sometimes those little things, now I don't know who the judges were. I don't know who picked who and that's fine um but i know for me little details would matter especially if i'm supposed to know what the specific choreography is supposed to look like 
I should be able to tell those little discrepancies. But also, too, I have a replay. I got a playback that I get to watch. But in real time, you only get two shots to see these. Yeah, so Ochan is taking more. Like, he's he's choosing to lock up his torso a little bit more. I don't know if that's out of preference or if that's um, just sub a subconscious thing he does. Look at Vata. He's uh, popping off. The confidence here. I love it. It doesn't look like he's doing choreo, and that's a really big thing here. There's also a little note, too. If you notice with Vata, he let his head go up. A lot of times, whenever you see people, boom, boom. He doesn't need to look front. And that's another note, too. Whenever you see somebody's maturity in the movement that they're choosing to do, sometimes they're not going to just look front the whole time, which is a really subtle thing. That's something with my one mil guy. He didn't do as much, but he still looked front significantly more. But Vata just has this nonchalant, like, you like my choreo? Is really what it feels like. Honestly, those two, one mil, he really went, doo -doo 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 -doo. he really filled up the music a lot more. Vata has this really nonchalant, it, it, it's, it works really well. Um, I would say, yeah. So out of out of everybody out of everybody here, my two contenders right now would have been one mil and Vata. I do not have a top four video to watch, so I have no idea who they ch picked because I don't know because like with Street Woman they picked like they dropped it down to half, so like final four, and then they picked sometimes the top two and had them go like that. I haven't seen that. I don't. I can't find it. So and that's fine because um, we know who won at the end of the day. Um, but I think it's interesting to be like, there's other contenders in this. It's not just Vata killing it, you know? It's not so black and white, you know? So, but I like it how they come up. I do think that uh, J-Rock is making some interesting choices. He's choosing to use the shoulder to kind of initiate, but instead of allowing that kind of, you know, like when you, when you see people like shoot a gun and there's that recoil, there's normally supposed to be a recoil that happens in this group. He's not actually doing a recoil. I think he's, 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 he's actually creating force with the shoulder. He's not recoiling the shoulder. So that's a different dynamic choice he made. And then you also see that that Ulchan has just embraced the <laughs> the robotic aesthetic of this particular buildup, which is a risk too. Mm, let me see the footwork there again. Mm, so the heat was a little bit off. My one mil was just a tad bit off there. Mm, okay. And I know a lot of times, too, that um, people have said that with judges, if they can't decide, they normally cater towards the person who made the choreography. I have heard that. I do not know if that was the case here, but I really like... Well, how my one mil, he is really doing a good job here. I think he actually chose to do, he went forward on his scroll. Normally, you, you, you scroll back on that groove. So that's an interesting choice that he did. <laughs> yeah, so that, like it's a hit, hit. It's like, hey, hey, but it's still pushed to the back. He goes forward, forward, and it's more supposed to go towards the back. So it's interesting. It does look like that J-Rock is just doing choreo, but he's, he's, I really feel like he's trying, you know, just the usage of some of his connections aren't quite happening. He's not hitting the groove because this is a very new school groove. This is not an old school rock and bounce at all. There's like a swoop that happens in the hips and there's a little bit more of like a, uh, what is it? Only when you hear a song you really like, you go, a hey, a hey, hey. It's kind of that kind of groove. It's very different than old school rock and bounce. And I think that he operated at, a, at an opposition there. And I think with Old Chen, it, there's a really good chance he over-isolated that. And I saw symptoms of that from Trex whenever he did when I was watching the choreo uh, compilation. Yeah. So I don't, yeah, so I don't know. My 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 vote, I would choose one mil and Vata out of this group for sure. I think Ochan held his own great. I just think he took some risks uh, and how he allowed his body to cater to the track. I think he may have over isolated in a couple of sections, you know, but if he was chosen to go again, I, I wouldn't see a problem with that. I'd say with um, J-Rock, I think he, he wasn't completing the movements that matched. There was too many people that were hitting the groove right 
for him to be able to get away with not hitting the groove, if that makes sense. So that's that would be my overall note with this group. Let's take a look at the next group because I got one more. I got four more to watch here. Okay, so we have Prime Kings, YGX, Just Jerk, and Ote. I'm getting better, guys, at knowing who I'm looking at. Wow, okay. I watched I watched a reaction video that Trix hosts for the second season. Ote, you gotta own it, Trix, you gotta own it. I love that Ote finished it. I love that he finished it. It is mad difficult. Trix pulled an Ike and just stepped back. He walked away. Sometimes you just gotta do that. It's not your day. That's okay. Doesn't negate the fact he's one of the best crumpers in the world. You gotta, you know, you gotta pick your pick your poison sometimes. So far, I don't think any of these guys are demonstrating the cleanliness that comes with the choreography. I would say YGX out of everybody. Come on, Trix, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, Ote. Come on, come on. Yeah! They did it! They did it! I'm so proud. I'm at least with the one of the run-throughs, they were able to get it. So that's, that's always encouraging to see. Now, do I think that they were gonna get Main Dancer? No. Um, because there was a couple from the first one that really captivated and really pulled that attention more than just Vata, you know? I would say with Dookie, really, really strong run from him, I think. Because of, because of who he's with, I really wish I could have seen him next to Vata. Um, I think that would have helped me really understand what details he caught. Maybe details that could have been missed, I don't quite know. But look here, let's just start with getting on the bike. They revving it up. One of them chose to kind of do a little arch there, not really accenting from the leg, but he accented more from the back, I would say, my, my guy from YGX did. Um, and seeing my, of course, with Trix and with my, my guy from Olte, he's kind of, he he's not really going about the the usage of riding. He kind of dropped the, the um, not the wordplay, but he dropped what he wanted uh, the imagery of how you're supposed to set it up. I think he dropped it just a little bit. Looking here, with Young Jay, I, okay, so going back, I did say that, I don't know if I finished my thought, but I did say Young Jay featured on Trix's reaction channel, um, cause they're going through the second season of Street Woman Fighter as well, so they pop up when I recommend it, so I'm able to watch it. What's interesting is that Young Jay, would they, would talk whenever they were reacting to the dance break mission of season two they were reminiscing about their time with, with season uh, with their season and they were like yeah i couldn't pick up vata's choreo and then Trix was like neither could i so i already kind of had an idea of what i was going to expect from them here yeah, i love how you know with dookie he's like ah, he's invested he's ready to go yeah Ah, yeah, Dookie nailed the footwork there. I think everybody else really didn't quite hit all the nuances of all the different syllables because that's what's really tricky about this is hitting those. And honestly, whenever you choose to lean forward with the weight is mad tricky too. Yeah, he's making really interesting choices where he's being really aggressive, smoothing it out after, super fun. I think Trix is trying to get through just like B2B was. I think Ote is really handling the power of it a lot more, but Trix is showing symptoms of what Ochan was doing, but Trix was already doing it just with choreography in general. He's really tight in the torso, but that's what comes whenever you're so used to a crump posture, you're so used to utilizing these muscle groups for an extended period of time. So whenever you're doing choreography or dance, your body's gonna subconsciously go to what your body is used to. That's why a lot of times when you see dancers who specialize in ballet or in those styles where there's a particular pocket they feel very awkward when they do street style choreography because that requires you to have more of a looseness or a different posture doesn't mean they're bad dancers it just means that it's a different language of movement their body's not exposed to and so I feel like we're experiencing a first-hand experience from tricks or a lot of people from prime kings in this show and I absolutely love the fact that they they are growing a lot more in this context than what they're currently doing I love it I really do does that mean sometimes you some of your worst takes get caught on camera yeah, that sucks, but I really, I think they grew a lot. Yeah, and then they're starting, hold on, when did they start to lose it? 
Oh, they forgot the sexy part. Okay. Ah, he could have finished it out. That's okay. Ote, he, he was like, man, I messed it up, you know. But I think he looks like he's in good spirits about it. Young Jay's like, dang it. La -de -da -de -da. He got on it like it was a horse. Can we talk about that? My guy from Montuki, man. He was like, I'm getting on my large AF motorcycle and you're going to watch me. He's very consistent. So I think here, who they would pick would go out of who's the most consistent. I would say my one mil and Vata were very consistent. Let's see how they feel. I feel like, you know, with um, with Young Jay, he decided to kick versus really leaning the weight forward. I think that factors in. He's taking very subtle, like, chill approaches. He's not isolating as much in the torso as what I'm seeing from Trickster from Olchan, but he is demonstrating that. But remember, his posture in pocket is so used to popping. Robotic technique, a lot of those things, and that is another posture that is uh, requiring a lot of muscle tension and muscle isolation and muscle control in here you have to be able to let it go and let it vibe out and rock like you're chilling out in a parking lot with your friends and your favorite track comes on. That's so different than some of their scopes. Like they pop off in a very different way, but but here this this screams this screams Gen Z in a parking lot. Really. Yeah, I would say um, my, my big note though is from Dookie, he didn't do both heels, he just did one heel, and that affects the overall essence of that dynamic that just shows. All day, I really like the effort here. I am team all day, I love them. They're a huge vibe, maybe because they, they, they just vibe similar to Mana Queen. I think Mana Queen though has heavier, has a heavier battle, has heavier battlers, right? Um, and then they have a different choreographic vibe about them. But I'm just saying like, I really like all day. For different reasons, but I know that Mana Queen and Old Day kind of go hand in hand a little bit. But that's a complete separate conversation. Nothing to do with this right now. Yeah, I'm too sexy. So, like, sometimes... Because we, we remember, when we saw with Vata, he, like, made a choreographic change at the tail end of it with the, with the three. You know, I think that was totally fine because he nailed everything both times. Here... You know, there's certain times you can make certain concessions uh, whenever you've deemed that you nail the choreo, then sometimes when you make a purposeful change and then go back to nailing the choreo, it feels like a risk well spent. But I feel like in this case, this I would not risk doing different choreography um, unless your body physically cannot do it and the modification is what makes you look more normal or more natural doing it. Yeah, that's sexy. Of course, he's like, he's going for it, you know? I love the fact that everybody, everybody was trying to go for it more. I think Yonjay popped off a little bit more here, which I think was really good. But we we'll just take another. I'm really proud of them of the fact that all of them were able to get through the whole thing. I love that. I think that's team everyone. I like the fact that Vata's enjoying it. I think it was really fun, super enjoyable. He was like, yeah, I love the vibe and energy. And I will say Vata is probably one of my favorites to watch his reactions to battles. His whole vibe and energy is awesome. I really, I really enjoyed this. I think, I think I would stand by 1 million, the, my, my guy from 1 million and then my guy from, and Vata. Um, I feel like out of, out of everybody, those two really demonstrated the piece well so if they if i had a vote between the two and they did the exact same both times i would probably lean towards the one who choreographed it because he choreographed it and it looked awesome right um but this was mad fun i loved it this was awesome thank you guys so much for watching i hope i was helpful in some way i always love me a good dance rank mission because i feel like we really get to see strengths from some people and some areas of improvement for others but that also it feels like we get to see people grow in real time right i think this is super cool and i love the fact that i get to do the discussion alongside you i think this is mad fun can't wait to keep watching all these i know i have the concepts next so uh i, I can't wait to get into those to those it's gonna be really fun but yeah thank you again and i will catch you on the flip side bye